Work Table Logs, Episode 3. The piece that I'm examining today has actually been claimed by somebody already. Uh, basically, my friend Nux uh, saw the butterfly pendant in another video and immediately had the idea that this would make a perfect gift for his friend Lynn, who lives in New Zealand. So that's where the butterfly is gonna fly once I've finished. Now the components we have here is this uh, metal silhouette which I found from the ground. I can't remember uh, if it was just loose like this or I think it had a uh, an earring hook attached to it. Then uh, the whole thing is, is going to be suspended on metal wire. I am going to add some sort of uh, some sort of closing device uh, here because because the whole pendant business is kind of heavy. Then I have these uh, ceramic beads from a vintage necklace from the 80s, I believe. I think it broke on its own volition. Either that or or uh, I broke it on purpose. I don't know. And I have used some uh, wire, copper wire with silver plating, uh, to create these sort of little extras. And uh, I, uh, when I started doing that, I didn't really have a plan uh, for them. And one day I, I took a look at this uh, at the silhouette and thought, hmm, these uh, these wired up. Uh, uh, ceramic thingies would go nicely with it. So now that I have filled up the wire, I need to loop this part up a little bit. So we could use a, more, a few more beads. even a third one here so that it's packed really tight yeah three will do finish the job with crimping uh, crimping pliers these are rather strong Oh crap. Okay. Off you go. And the loop is closed. Now for this next part I need to add a connector between the two of these ends because I suspect that the memory wire alone might not be strong enough to to hold the necklace on when it's worn. So I want a little extra extra precaution there. Uh, although this connection here won't be carrying the full weight of the pendant, so it can be quite decorative. My plan is to use the same kind of uh, chain that I have used with these dangly bits. Let's see. This one. Yep. Rest of you back in the box.
Next I'm going to use simple jump rings. I think the single ones were called jump rings and the double ones were called doubles. Also the small ones are quite strong. Okay. I'm going to use these tiny buggers to attach a length of this chain. Chain I see. Come on. The length of this chain to one of these loops. Oh, perfect fit. Just an extra squeeze. Ah, uh, no, that's too much of a squeeze actually, but I think I can fix it. Okay, next step is to create the connection here. I have measured the fit around my own neck because uh, according to pictures we should be close enough for a comfy fit. However, I'm not going to remove this extra uh, extra length of uh, uh, of chain here. Instead, I'm going to just leave it here as a possible possible extra decoration. I might put the dangly bit at the end of there. Okay, so I added the bigger jump ring on this end and I put the clasp to this chain. And voila! I might be attaching an extra uh, extra clay bead with uh, with silvery bits on it here. Of course, there's also the option to just remove the extra chain. I will have to think about that one. Looks like I finally figured it out. So I kept the. I kept the little chain attachment, but I added uh, one extra link to hold the clasp, and I actually made the chain part a little bit longer even, because I tried it on again and uh, it, it felt better. Uh, if the whole wire business set a little bit uh, more loosely uh, because of the pendant's weight. And I added a little clay bead in the middle. So now, if it's uh, when it's worn, it should look like this. Uh, the, the main pendant down below. Uh, these pieces go around the neck. And the clasp, the clasp will hold on to this ring here, and then the uh, uh, the smaller pendant sits a little bit above the bigger one. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to get a good uh, uh, finishing shot because the memory wire will immediately just curl up when uh, when in idle position but this this is more or less how it's going to sit uh, uh, sit on the neck when worn big pendant down here uh, the, the wire stretched and then the chain part with an extra dangly bit above it so done